Are you ready to unlock the secret to healthier kidneys? If you or someone you know is on a journey to lower creatinine levels and boost kidney health, you're in the right place. In today's video, we're about to share some invaluable insights that can make a world of difference. Kidney health is crucial, and the top six foods we're about to reveal are absolute game changers for kidney patients. Imagine having the power to improve your kidney function, fight inflammation, and even manage diabetes, all through the simple act of enjoying delicious, kidney-friendly foods. These aren't just ordinary items on your grocery list, they're your allies in the quest for better health. So, stay tuned because in this video, we're here to guide you through this transformative journey towards lower creatinine levels and a healthier, happier you. Hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. 1. Mango Mangoes are packed with a super antioxidant known as mangiferin. And trust me, this isn't just a catchy term, it's backed by solid scientific research. Mangiferin, found abundantly in mangoes, has been shown in various studies, including one published in the Journal of Pharmacy and Pharmacology in 2016, to have exceptional antioxidant properties. It's like your body's personal shield against those nasty free radicals that can lead to serious health issues, including cancer, diabetes, and more. So, you're not just eating a delicious fruit, you're giving your body a powerful defense mechanism. But that's not all. Mangoes are a triple threat when it comes to your health. They're incredibly rich in fiber and pectin, which have been extensively studied and proven to be beneficial for controlling cholesterol levels and managing blood sugar. This means that even if you're dealing with diabetes, you can enjoy mangoes without worrying about spikes in your blood sugar levels, as they have a low glycemic index. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Can people with kidney disease safely include mangoes in their diet? Well, let's break it down. A medium-sized mango, weighing around 300 gram, without the pit, brings a treasure trove of vitamins and fiber to the table. This is fantastic news for your overall health. However, here's a slight catch. Mangoes are relatively high in potassium, with more than 500 milligrams in a single fruit. But don't fret, there's a simple solution. Just cut that juicy mango in half. You see, half a mango contains just a tad more potassium than a medium-sized apple, making it perfectly safe for individuals with kidney issues. So, you get to savor the incredible health benefits, including that superstar antioxidant mangiferin, without any concerns. Plus, mangoes aren't just good for you, they are absolutely delicious. And here's a delightful idea for you, share a mango with a friend or family member. Let them in on the secret of this super fruit, and you can both relish the rewards of improved health. So, spread the mango love and share this valuable information with anyone you know who might be dealing with kidney disease. Click that share button or send them an email, because who wouldn't want to know they can enjoy mangoes guilt-free? And if mangoes aren't their cup of tea, don't worry. You can chop them into chunks and toss them in the freezer. Once they're frozen, blend them up with a hint of lemon, and voila. You've got yourself a delightful mango sorbet. 2. Legumes and Beans First and foremost, they're a fantastic source of fiber, and that's a big deal because, honestly, most of us don't get enough fiber in our diets. But that's not all, legumes and beans also pack a punch when it comes to iron and magnesium. These minerals are part of what makes them heart healthy and excellent for managing blood sugar levels and cholesterol. And you already know just how vital these aspects are for your well-being if you've been following me regularly. Now, here's where the debate comes in. Some more conservative nutritionists might have a different take because many legumes are relatively high in both potassium and phosphorus, which can be concerning for kidney patients. 
But here's the solution, green beans. Not only are they a satisfying, crunchy, low-calorie option, but they also deliver all the benefits of other legumes without the potassium overload. In fact, they contain just 211 mg of potassium per cup, making them an ideal choice for a renal diet. Fantastic, right? Another great option is green peas, with 354 mg of potassium per cup. They come with a decent dose of heart-healthy minerals like magnesium and calcium, which can help keep your blood pressure in check, a big win for your kidney health. Now, there are other legumes you can consider adding to your diet, like fava beans and chickpeas. While they're richer in potassium, they're still quite healthy. Just be cautious with varieties like white beans, navy beans, white kidney beans, and lima beans, as they tend to be high in potassium. If you're concerned about potassium, don't forget to check out my video on the subject. Now, let's address the phosphorus factor. It's worth noting that the phosphorus found in legumes is not entirely absorbed by the body, typically only about 50%. So, it's a factor that some people tend to overestimate. That's why I'm here to tell you that legumes have been unfairly demonized for kidney patients. They're a nutritious option you can incorporate into your diet without worry. So, how often should you enjoy legumes and beans to help lower your creatinine levels as part of a healthy diet? Based on a recent study conducted on non-dialysis kidney patients, my advice is to include them twice a week. You can use them as a replacement for some other protein sources when you have pasta or bread. And by the way, I'd love to hear if you're enjoying my top 6 recommendations. Feel free to let me know in the comments section. 3. Black Plums Black plums are a fantastic addition to your renal diet. They bring a lot to the table, starting with their low potassium content. But that's not all, they're also packed with fiber, magnesium, and calcium, all of which are incredibly beneficial for your overall health. Now, here's a fun fact. Plums belong to the same family as peaches, nectarines, and apricots. However, they have a little something extra, antioxidants, specifically anthocyanins. These antioxidants are a specific type of polyphenol responsible for their beautiful dark color, and you'll want plenty of antioxidants in your diet. The more, the merrier. But wait, there's more. Plums have another fantastic benefit, they can help relieve constipation, making them a digestive superhero. If you're wondering about availability, fresh plums are in season from June through October, with their peak in August and September. Here's a reassuring fact, three small plums actually contain slightly less potassium than a medium-sized apple. That makes them absolutely safe for kidney patients. Now, when you're shopping for plums in the produce section of your market, keep an eye out for ones that are free of nicks and blemishes. They should be even in color, plump, and emit a sweet fragrance. Avoid purchasing plums that feel rock hard, as they may not be ripe enough. One key takeaway from today's video is the importance of including foods in your daily routine. Seasonal fruits like plums should be part of your everyday eating habits. And it's not just plums, you can also enjoy other fruits in season, such as grapes, peaches, apples, and more. By making these fruits a regular part of your healthy eating regimen, you'll be doing your kidneys a big favor, and they'll thank you for it. 4. Rice you might be surprised that I'm discussing rice because it's often assumed that everyone consumes it regularly. However, there's quite a bit of misconception surrounding rice, particularly white rice. Some avoid it due to its carb content, and there's even a false belief that eating rice can lead to weight gain. Lately, some doctors have even advised their CKD patients to steer clear of brown rice. 
But is this advice sound? Let's set the record straight. Incorporating rice into your diet regularly is 100% safe and beneficial for a healthy renal diet. Allow me to explain why. First and foremost, white rice is low in sodium, potassium, and phosphorus. In fact, it contains just 13 mg of potassium per half cup portion, approximately 65 g, and 60 mg of phosphorus. This makes it perfectly safe for individuals at any stage of kidney disease. White rice is also considered a safe carbohydrate since it's easy to digest, making it suitable for those with chronic digestive issues. It's naturally gluten free an excellent source of energy, budget-friendly, and versatile for meal planning. The only drawback to white rice is that consuming it excessively, more than three to four times a week, may increase the risk of type 2 diabetes. To address this, I'll introduce some alternatives in a moment. Now, let's briefly compare white rice and brown rice. Brown rice is often considered healthier because it retains more natural nutrients like fiber, vitamins, and minerals compared to white rice, which is stripped of these. Brown rice is considered a whole grain, which typically offers more benefits than refined carbohydrates. For those with diabetes or those aiming to manage blood sugar levels, brown basmati rice is an excellent choice due to its higher fiber content nutrients, and vitamins. However, it's important to note that in the U.S. and many other countries, white rice is typically enriched with added nutrients like iron and B vitamins, such as folic acid, niacin, and thiamine. It's labeled as white enriched rice. Additionally, there's another intriguing type of rice known as parboiled rice or converted rice. It may look like regular white rice, but it undergoes a unique processing method that sets it apart. Parboiled rice is a superior source of fiber, calcium, potassium, and vitamin B6 compared to regular white rice. Despite its name, it still takes about 20 minutes to prepare. In conclusion, it's perfectly safe to include rice in your diet up to four times a week or even more if you're not diabetic. If you don't have diabetes and want to keep your phosphorus intake low, white rice, parboiled rice, or enriched white rice are excellent options. If you have diabetes or seek a more nutrient-rich alternative to white rice, consider brown rice or explore alternatives like wild rice or brown basmati. Just be cautious when it comes to prepared rice mixes, as they often contain added salt. Let's talk about our number 5 pick, leafy greens, specifically kale and spinach. These green powerhouses are often touted as some of the healthiest foods on the planet. What makes these leafy greens stand out is their incredible alkalinity, which means they can help counteract the negative effects of less healthy foods in your diet. But that's not all, they're bursting with essential nutrients, including iron, vitamin C, various B vitamins, and more. However, it's crucial to be aware that these nutrient-packed greens also come with a higher potassium content. For instance, kale, while among the cooked greens with the lowest potassium levels, still contains approximately 300 mg of potassium per cup, or 70 mg per 100 gram. While this isn't exceptionally low, it falls within safe limits. It's definitely worth incorporating into your diet while being mindful of your consumption of other high potassium foods. If you're on the lookout for leafy greens that offer remarkable health benefits with lower potassium levels, you can consider alternatives like green cabbage, which boasts just 150 mg of potassium per cup, or 90 gram, or lettuce with a minimal 70 mg of potassium per cup, or 36 g. But don't stop there, there's a wide array of other leafy greens to explore, such as arugula, collard greens, broccoli, cucumber, and more. As a general rule of thumb, if it's green, 
it's likely to be good for your health. Now, here's the key question. How often should you make these cruciferous superfoods a part of your diet? The answer is straightforward. Incorporate them daily. That's what I do, and there's no reason why you shouldn't do the same to enjoy their fantastic benefits. 6. Pomegranate Pomegranate, with its vibrant ruby red seeds and rich, tart flavor, has gained recognition as a potent ally in promoting kidney health and lowering creatinine levels. Let's delve into the remarkable properties of this fruit and understand how it benefits our kidneys. First and foremost, pomegranates are packed with antioxidants, particularly anthocyanins and polyphenols. These antioxidants play a pivotal role in reducing oxidative stress within the body. In the context of kidney health, oxidative stress can lead to inflammation and damage to the delicate kidney tissues. By combating free radicals and inflammation, pomegranates help protect our kidneys from harm. Numerous scientific studies have reinforced the positive impact of pomegranates on kidney health. A study published in the Journal of Nephrology in 2013 found that pomegranate extract had a nephroprotective effect by reducing markers of kidney damage in diabetic rats. Another study in the American Journal of Nephrology in 2009 suggested that pomegranate extract could help slow the progression of kidney disease in humans. So, how can we harness the full potential of pomegranates for kidney health? One effective tip is to consume pomegranate juice regularly. Pomegranate juice, made from the seeds and arrows of the fruit, is a convenient way to obtain the beneficial compounds without the need to eat the whole fruit. Drinking a glass of pomegranate juice daily can provide a consistent source of antioxidants and nutrients for kidney protection. So, we've just covered our top 6 foods for today. I hope you found this information valuable and have discovered some new additions to elevate your dietary choices. Stay tuned for our next video, you won't want to miss it. That wraps up today's discussion. Until next time, take care and see you soon.